sock on it that cuts out the wind but I jumped out of a tractor the other day and my phone came out of my pocket and shattered and so I had to go get a new phone and the new phone doesn't have a headphone jack so I've got to get a little Duma fits it I think that's the official term a Duma fits it so that microphone fits so I hope the audio is not too bad and I apologize if it is um, I had a subscriber write me last week and ask a question in regards to another video I had done about carrying uh, a saddle carbine on your saddle. And it was a very good question, and so I wanted to go ahead and address it here in case somebody else has that question. Now what she asked was, what do you do about water and wet with your rifle? Uh, she lives in Alberta, and they ride a lot in the back country, and it's really wet. And sometimes she said they ford rivers that are up to the horse's belly. And she's concerned about carrying a rifle in a wet scabbard all day, and uh, which is a legitimate concern. So that's what we're going to address today. Now, as always, I can't cover every single point because there's so many different options. Uh, so I can just give you my take on it and what I do, and uh, and then everybody can take it from there. So um, there there are options now. Like I had talked about in the other video, there are waterproof rifle scabbards. Um, but they're, they're, I don't use them, not because I'm against waterproof rifle scabbards, but they're all huge. They're made to fit a broad range of bolt action rifles with big scopes. And so anything will fit in them and they're just massive. And so, so I use, as we talked about before, I use just a leather saddle carbine scabbard. Now this, this rifle has been unloaded. Uh, so if I was in the back country, and I know what you mean about riding when it's really wet. I was riding in, a, in Alaska one summer, and we had 28 straight days of rain. When I got up of a morning, it was raining. When I saddled, it was raining. When we pulled out, it was raining. When I came back, it was raining. When I went to bed that night, it was raining. So I understand what you're talking about. So if you don't want to go with those foam-lined Cordura waterproof, if you want, smaller, more portable, more packing. There's two or three uh, points that I'll make, okay? First, there's this thing here and I carry it in my saddlebag all the time when I'm in the back country. Now the brand is called a slicker, okay? It's a slick, and so it's real small and it's real portable. And what it is, is a waterproof gun sock. And you slide your rifle down in it and, uh, and this piece here is actually waterproof and it buckles around the stock. So if, if you're in inclement weather and you're concerned about your rifle, you can pull something like this out, put it on your rifle and your rifle will still fit in the scabbard. And then it, <coughs> it has a, a bit of waterproofing. Um, there is that, but here's the other, here's the other point. Um, couple points I wanna make first, if I was going to cross a river that was belly deep on my horse and I had a saddle scabbard hanging off my saddle, I would stop and take the saddle scabbard off the saddle. And then as I was riding across the river, I would have it across in front of me behind the swales, behind the horn of my saddle up in my lap, making sure that I didn't dump it out the other end. Uh, but I would carry it up out of the water until I crossed the river and then get down and put it back on the saddle. Either that or if we were had pack horses or pack mules and I had a really good dependable mule, um, I might would strap it on the top pack of a pack um, mule behind me. I might would do that, but probably because I trust me more than I do anybody else, I would just put it in my, set it up in front of me while I was crossing the river and then get down and put it back on. The other thing is, is it's going to get, if you're in wet country and it's raining, it is going to get wet, but it's not the end of the world. Um, now, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Now, this is a rifle I talked about before. This is my Browning 1886-4570, and this is what I carry, a saddle carbine. I love the 4570. I've killed everything, caribou, bull moose, uh, grizzly bear. Uh, I've killed everything. And people who say that it's just a short-range weapon, that just means they can't shoot it. 
it has a lot of trajectory, but guys do thousand yard competitions with a 45-7. There's videos on YouTube where guys are consistently hitting steel gongs at six, 900 yards with a 45-70. You just, you gotta be able to shoot it. And if you get a super flat shooting with a $900 scope, which takes everything out of it, then that's, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? But this is what I carry. And then, um, and then in the, in the leather scabbard. Now, a very important point on this subject here. It's extremely important that your scabbard, I don't know if you can see there, is not lined. That is a very, very important factor. This scabbard is just leather. Okay, this is a, yeah, this is a triple K. Okay, and it's just leather. There's no shearling lining inside. Uh, there's no pigskin lining inside. Lining inside the leather will hold moisture and it will destroy your rifle faster than just the leather. Now the leather will get wet at times if you're out in the back country for several days and it's raining, but that's not the end of the world. If you remember in the other video I did, you've got to have it in your mind that a rifle scabbard on your saddle is just transportation just transportation it is not for storage so if you have your rifle in the scabbard and it starts raining you're going through wet forest and you're brushing the water off and the scabbard gets wet and your rifle gets kind of wet when you get to camp that night pull the rifle out of the scabbard as soon as you get into camp and then take it and wipe it down and then carry one of those and i've got one i wish i had brought it out for the video but i didn't uh, I use a boar snake, all right, that, that, a boar snake, and you, you drop it down the barrel, and then you pull it through, and it's long string about so long, and the knob on the end that's just the right size to come down, and it pulls everything out of the barrel, wipe the gun down when you get to camp, run a little bit, of, make sure the barrel's dry, run a little boil, bit of oil in the barrel, oil the metal down, oil your stock down a little bit, set it aside in your tent out of the weather and uh and then you'll be fine if your gun is clean and well oiled before you go out then if it's in a wet scabbard for a little while and you pull it out that night i've never had never had rush show up in a day like that okay and the next morning you get up your scabbard's still wet i mean if you can hang it upside down if you can set it by the fire that night so it kind of dries some uh, but there's no guarantee. And if your scabbard's still wet, it's okay. If, you're, if you've got a, a light coating of oil on your gun, if your gun is properly maintained and cleaned and oiled, put it back in the scabbard, go for the day. When you get back that night, pull it out, wipe it off, dry it and oil it. I've never had any trouble with that. Um, and so that that's what I do. Um, I don't use any kind of lining. I make sure it's just leather and I make sure my rifle is clean and oiled. And for a few hours transportation on your saddle, um, you're not going to pull out a, a big thing of rust. Okay, uh, so very simple answer, and I know there's a kajillion side things out there, but that's that's my answer. It's all I got. It's all I know. It's what I do, um, and so I hope this helps. If you like the content, click like, uh, leave a comment, leave another question, and. Uh, and let's be logical and be reasonable and be safe. How about that fun? And I'll catch you next time.